I relish the rare opportunity I've been given to live the life of the mind. But I know I need my body, and that it will not last forever. As we age, and we make copies of cells, tiny errors creep into our genes. This process seems inevitable, but stem cell researchers disagree. One of them is Dr. Vincent Giampapa. He believes our body's own natural reserves of stem cells can stem the tide of decay. The origin of the aging process really starts in our stem cells because that is the reservoir of the regenerative power and the ability to have our body cells renewed and repaired as we age. The stem cells we have in our adult bodies are not all powerful like embryonic stem cells. They are specialized to replenish specific tissues we need to maintain ourselves, like blood, bone, skin, and muscle. As we age, however, this repair system begins to break down. What we've learned recently is there is a clock, if you will, inside the cells that actually changes or, if you will, ticks as each year goes by. And as that happens, certain genes get turned off and other genes get turned on. Our DNA is not frozen over our lifetime. Our environment and the choices we make influence and change our genetic profile. So if we live in a healthy environment, that genetic clock is slower. If we live in an unhealthy or stressful environment, the genetic clock accelerates. We can think of the DNA inside one of our body's stem cells like a newspaper. So this morning, I picked up this newspaper in my driveway, and I have a, a nice, clean newspaper, but I might drop that newspaper in the street, and it might wrinkle or get dirty. Well, as the day goes on, I might spill some coffee on this newspaper. It might even rain this afternoon. The key thing here is I'm not going to be able to get another copy of this newspaper. But as we age, what happens to those young cells is the letters on that DNA start to get damaged from normal aging, from the environment, and that newspaper, or if you will, that cell becomes less efficient. We really can't read the information, and that cell then can't make accurate copies of itself, which then rapidly accelerates the aging process. But Vincent believes this aging process can be reversed. His research team at the Cell Health Institute claims it has already begun rolling back the cellular clock on our body's natural supply of stem cells. What we're really doing is using the proteins from younger cells from another person to reprogram older cells from, from a different person. What we've seen already in our early studies is that those senescent genes that produce inflammatory compounds and things that are directly related to cancer have actually been reversed. They've been turned off. So that's been a very good sign that most likely in the long run, this will certainly be a safe therapy in the next few years.